What is up? This is your LA in a Minute. We are going to kick off this summer in a collaboration with Above Los Angeles by getting into the history of the rugged, the beautiful, and the exclusive Malibu. Let's get into it. Due to its natural seclusion and rugged terrain, Malibu was sparsely populated for most of its history. The native Ventareño Chumash called the settlement Humalawu, which translates to the surf sounds loudly. In 1802, Spanish colonizers named the area Rancho Topanga Malibu Sequit and bequeathed the 13,000 acres to Spanish subject Bartolo Tapia. Tapia built a lone wood frame house on the large estate and planted vineyards and brought in a herd of cattle. In 1848, Tapia passed away and his widow sold the home to a man named Leon Victor Prudholm for 400 pesos, who in turn sold it to Matthew Keller in 1857 for 10 cents an acre. In 1891, the land was sold to Frederick Hastings Ringe and his wife, Rhoda May Knight. The Ringes built a large Victorian mansion, now known as the Adams House, on the edge of Malibu Creek and also had gates built on the coastal edges of their property with locks to keep people out. When Frederick died in 1905, Rhoda May wanted to keep and protect the property at all costs. The self-seclusion was successful until 1923 when a Supreme Court decision ruled that the government had a right to build the highway through the Ringe property. That highway, known as Roosevelt Highway, is now known as PCH. That was enough to convince May Ringe to divide her property and she began selling and leasing lots to developers who advertised it as tranquil and peaceful. The promise of privacy was enough to draw stars to the community. Anna Nilsson was first, Jack Warner, Barbara Stanwyck, and Gary Cooper soon followed, and it became known as the Malibu Movie Colony. At that time, surfers began sneaking into Malibu to take advantage of the epic waves. By 1938, May owed the government millions in unpaid taxes and lost control of Malibu, and in 1940, most of the estate went up for sale. May passed away in 1941. Throughout the 50s, the community expanded in every direction. In 1956, there was a devastating fire that burned 35,000 acres and destroyed 250 structures. Eventually, the Adamson family sold or donated the rest of the land, which became Malibu Bluff State Park and Pepperdine University. By 1969, Malibu had become famously hip, the home of Gidget and surf culture. Throughout the 70s and 80s, celebrities like Barbara Streisand and Johnny Carson built massive compounds in the mountains and by the shore. A milestone was reached in 1991 when Malibu incorporated as a city. In its time as a city, residents of Malibu like mega mogul David Geffen have continued to battle infringement on their privacy and have attempted to limit public access. Anti-growth activists have been successful, keeping the population under 13,000. Despite natural hazards and efforts to keep it exclusive, Malibu continues to grow and thrive. This natural beauty is undeniable, especially in the summer. All right, LA, it's been a minute.